So what you see here is the um, high resolution CCD solar spectrum. So that's basically the rainbow of the sun in its full detail. And this was obtained kind of professionally, not by me, um, it was by the current team at Harvard. And I think about this image all the time. I have this framed in my house. You know, there's just a complexity to all these lines and each line corresponds to an atom or a molecule at the edge of the sun. And as a spectroscopist in space, we're just always counting photons. And so I thought, okay, uh, for my new scale, I'm going to look at something that has an abundance of photons. So I was just trying to look at the sun too, but with my own handheld spectrometer that I keep in my purse, just in case a interesting light source uh, comes my way. And I felt similarly to Jess, that there was an elusiveness to these images. I was trying to capture both the sky and the spectrum of light from the sun. And you can see that all of those millions, actually billions of absorption lines from the previous picture completely disappear. And it just looks like a continuous rainbow. And I can imagine for the first people who saw the, the lines and spectrum of the sun, apparently, so the story goes, they thought it was dirt. They thought it was a problem with their prism. And I can totally imagine that because from this perspective, the sun just seems like a continuous source of light, no interruptions. And, and then what I found was it was almost impossible to get the spectrum and the sky in focus, which of course makes sense to anyone here who does photography, but that hadn't even crossed my mind. In my mind, this photograph would have been kind of a beautiful just, uh, just a position. And instead, I could only focus on the spectrum. So then I tried something close to home um, and I saw that the light in my hallway was old and old lights tend to not be, you know, LED, continuous spectrum, and I was not disappointed. So it's just a beautiful emission spectrum. And this was such a pleasure to actually try and capture, but the elusiveness was so so true at this point i was trying to get the camera aligned with the spectroscope and the light hitting just right and i was trying to get the echo of the spectra the edge of the spectrometer and even though i had an abundance of photons i didn't have any stability and so um i I, I really struggled with this and I have a whole new appreciation for the instruments I use and the architecture and engineering that goes into them uh, because spectra is hard at every scale it seems. <laughs>